Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quickcurd, and welcome back to the horrifying experience that is Final Fantasy X-2. Last time, we got deeply confused trying to understand how or why anything works. Now, I want to head back to Luca, because that is the next thing on my list. I'm sorry, did that say 15% now? Oh, right, because I was just past the 14% check. Okay. Uh, so, at the Blitzball Stadium locker room, I have to talk to someone. Oh, nope, that's the high road. So I have to learn this game's uh, confusing little mini-game, uh, Sphere Break, which is actually not that bad. Um, there's actually not much Sphere Break I have to play for the sake of the game, to be honest. So that's a good thing. Uh, okay, I guess I go this way? Uh, Luca Stadium. I'm going to assume it's this way. Yeah, that definitely looks like a stadium. So this is... Wait, you can just buy Sears? I... Okay, is this not this stadium, then? I, d I don't... <sighs> how, how can I be this bad at navigating a city? Here we go, this is the stadium. So, I need to find the locker room. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. This hall has been reserved as a meeting place for Spear Blake players. Are you familiar with Spear Break? Uh, never heard of it. Simply exit this chamber and proceed to the hall on the right side. You will find the sponsor. Listen to his introduction. Okay. Looking good with that six pack, I see. Ah, the Lady Yuna. Indeed. It's been too long. What you selling this time? Entertainment. Lady Yuna's calm has given the people of Spira time to relax and enjoy the finer things in life. What better time for me to introduce Sphere Break? It won't be long now before Luca will host the inaugural tournament. Cool. You are more than welcome to compete, if you like. Should we? Yeah! Rico, you really Ask need to just... If you would like to know the rules of the game. Stop agreeing to everything off the top of Eat your head. Desa. Sweet! Thanks for the Albed Primer. Even though one of us is literally Albed. And the other one is half Albed. 
Two things to taste through. Like a core sphere and coins. Okay. Core spheres seem per sound pretty valuable. Use a coin break the core. Then the value of the coin goes up. Okay. So I did this. Um. I mean, I guess if it lets me just play a practice round, I might as well. Just so I'm familiar with the interface when the when the time to actually do some sphere break comes. Uh, because I don't actually have to do any of it this chapter. As far as I understand from my guide. Uh, nope, I don't got any questions. Okay, well, whatever. That's all I needed to do here. Uh, that's it. That's all I had to do in Luca. I just had to go down this hall and have a cutscene with Rin. Honestly, most of this guy is go to random location, trigger a cutscene, leave. That genuinely is the overwhelming majority of this whole guide. Alright. Next location. Uh, we will be heading to Mount Gagazet. Some of the Roms, though, are having a tough time burying their hatred for the Guado. Man, I'd hate to be their elder. The Ronso still live here on Mount Gagazet. Kamari Hello. is their elder now, and he's working hard to unite his people. Ooh, good for you, still, Kamari! It seems much quieter here than it used to be. Maybe because summoners no longer come here to climb the sacred mountain. Also because I'm pretty sure Seymour said he just killed them all. I mean, I guess he was lying, but I assume he killed at least some. Kimari! You na look well, Kimari glad. Mm-hmm. How you been, Kimari? What's it like being an elder? Elder's job difficult. Kimari troubled. Mm, poor guy. Uh, hello. Elder, Leon and Aid not here. Children have left Mountain, gone to search for Elder's horn. What's going on? Leon and Aid still pups, but bear Ronso future. Say they search for a way to fix Kimari's broken horn. How about glue? If Kimari act like true Elder, these things not happen. Maybe so. Kimari. I summon a Yuna. It is Garrick's honor. At least you're polite nice to, to me. Meet you. Garrick, no Yuna saved Spira, but Ronso not saved yet. Um. Okay. Reply to Garrick with the second option. And then once you gain control of Yuna, speak to Tamari and choose the second option. Speak to him several times if need be. All right. Tamari worried about Lian and Aid, but Kimari cannot leave Mountain. If Yuna find Lian and Aid, bring them back to Gagazet. So do you guys actually have like homes or any kind of infrastructure or do you just all kind of stand around in the snowy clearing? Is everything okay? Kimari troubled. Ronso youth grow horns of hatred for Guado. Can't say I blame him. Uh choose the second option. You know. You have to learn Kimari to deal with these sorry. things. Whining make Kimari small. 
Cheer up, Kamari. Okay. You, Kamari, sorry. All right. Cheer up, Kamari. So then, speak to the female Ronzo next to Kamari, and choose the first option. Okay. Uh, female Ronzo, choose the first option. Leave it to the Goldwings. All right. Speak to everyone else and choose the second option. Okay? I will never forget their sacrifice. Many Ronso and many friends and kin died two years ago. Ronso grief deeper than mountain snow. I can imagine how you must feel. Never forgive Seymour. Never forgive Guado. I wouldn't forgive them either. Huh. Lovely conversation, Garrett. Ronzo always remember those who are gone. Guado, leave Guado Salon. Guado, let plan dark schemes. I'm sure you're right. Yes, Guado, dark and shifty. It is the Guado way. All right, we're spreading racism now. Man, we're such great heroes. Thank you, Viren and Yenke. Yeah, and then you are the last one to talk to. Build monument to Ronzo Glory. First of us two subject. Me. Build a statue of me and give it a horn. That's what you promised, and that's what I want to see. Uh, take the teleport pad to go to the Faith Scar. Okay, the Faith Scar. And speak to the Ronso here and choose the second option. Okay. Power of Faith, Wayne. Cave water disappears. Change will come to Ronzo too. A change for the better, I hope. Ronzo, hope this too. Okay. That's eight people in all, including Kamari. If you speak to a Ronzo and aren't given any options. Okay. All right. There, there. There's a lengthy note here, and I need to to read this. That's eight people in all, including Kamari. If you speak to Aronso and aren't given any response options, it's because you have already spoken to them. Speaking to them will not affect the story completion, but they will affect a minor story detail later in the game. Only Kamari is important for a dress here later on. The others are part of a monument building detail revealed in the last chapter. Okay. So, just to be sure, I should talk to everybody again, just to make sure I don't have any more dialogue uh, options. No more, no more responses. You, Kimari, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Just want to make sure... I'm pretty sure I got them all. Okay. Uh, that is it. So I should be at 16% now. I am at 16%. Now we board the airship. And we go somewhere else random. Okay. So the next location I am going to is the uh, Jose Temple. Here we go, Jose Temple. Those Machina Crazy Al Bed machine faction guys are hiring helpers. Could be good gill for the Gullwings. 
So I have a cutscene. After we defeated Sin, and then I talked to him. to distance themselves from the temples. <laughs> no duh. For a long time, Jose Temple was neglected as well. But now. Oh, have they moved in to take advantage of the lightning? Yep, looks like it. Everyone's staring. You're famous, Yumi. You get used to it. <sighs> All I want is some peace and quiet. Then maybe you She's shouldn't be led such a sheltered life. constantly She's going places. Old. Who's getting old? Hello there, sir. Don't you look fancy? Leader of the machine faction. He can be kind of annoying, but he's all right. Okay, let's do some interviews. Bring it. Uh, yeah, okay. He seems all right. Okay. So, uh, I have to speak to Gipple and ask to dig. Okay, so Gipple clearly walked that way. Oh my, do I literally just have to wait in line? Is that a thing I actually have to do? Do, do I trigger the wine moving by talking to people? I mean, it might be that, or it might be time, or it might be... Like, steps I take. Okay, that definitely triggered after... After I talked to that person. So, we're just going to keep talking. Okay. Uh, hi. I want to dig... Go into the temple. Gipple will interview. Sweet. Looks like you've been registered. Follow the instructions you receive inside. Irigi Yimneto e Dunja Fatri people. Hello. Gibble. Can, can I help you? Huh? Hello. You are here for an interview. Definitely. Uh huh. The Great High Summoner wants an interview. Former Summoner. Hmm. All right, follow me. I, I only just noticed. Does Yuna have... Let me see if I can't get, like, a real close camera angle. Uh, I, I really can't. Okay, Gipple... Gipple, where where are you? No, that doesn't help. Go back in. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not I'm not seeing a gipple. Did he go into the deeper into the temple? Or, like I, I, I thought he left. Researcher is a hair, do or no researcher. Okay. So he did leave like I thought. I just. It's probably out on the bridge. Okay, so, so we think he left. Alright, the, the thing I thought I noticed about Yuna's outfit, I think she actually has uh, Jack's mark. Like right in the uh, in the cut of the outfit, I think she started wearing Jack's mark. Ah, yes. All I had to do was go here. Never been this close to a celebrity before. That's nice. I could get used to this. You are standing very well. Let's not. Yeah, that is absolutely Jack's well, mark. Well, if it isn't Sid's girl, how you been? I have a name. Huh. Brother doing okay? No. Uh, I, 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 I definitely too. don't want brother around. Do you want brother? Same as ever is right. You can have brother. Okay, you! Pain. Nice to meet you. Uh, huh? We're here for the interview. Right. The interview. You, you seem very uncertain about this whole interview thing. You sure you want to dig? Because we're talking about the desert, ladies. Not exactly a picnic. I mean, we're sure. All right, you're hired. Welcome. Huh? You are hired. Yeah, I mean, we are worldwide safe. We're superstar probably like fine. You would want to play in the sand. I don't know. The, guide, the guide told me to. Well, do what you gotta do. Anyways, I've done what I can. Dig to your heart's content. It was very important that we have um, this conversation thanks. on the bridge. Show this letter to a woman named Natala. You'll find her in the Beacon Hill Desert. Okay. The letter of introduction. Happy digging. Thank you, sir. All right. So that's all I need to do here. And that should put me at 17%. Which would be a solid just over one-sixth of the way through the game. Airship time. Okay, so we now need to go to Macalania Woods. And there's a note here. If the enemies here are too tough, just escape. If you see an amorphous gel, have non-mages heal while your black mages cast magic. Use the element opposite of what is used by the gel. It's best to run from the gels from now, though. You might want to save your gain by taking the shimmering path back to the save spear immediately after speaking to Trom. Okay... All right, Macalania Woods. The woods have been changing rapidly since Macalania Temple sank. That can't be good news for the locals. Good 
It's been two years since the faith in Makalania Temple disappeared. They say it's affecting not only the lake, but the woods as well. It definitely looks less infested by the souls and spirits and memories of the dead. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is talk to a man with a bird's head. That looks like a man with a bird's head. Hello, sir. The woods will soon be no more. Okay. So go due east of the save sphere and then south at the four way. Okay. Uh, south at the four way. Oh, no, 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 no. No. That wasn't a four way, this is a three way. This is the four way. And talk to Donga at the spring. Hello. Uh, the end has come faster than I thought. <laughs> what can we do? Mm -hmm. I'll be there in two shakes. What? Okay, so this next one says take the long route toward the travel agency and along the way speak to it. Oh, I don't I don't know what that means. Presumptively, this still leads to the Calm Lands. So this isn't where I want to be. The Calm Lands. Many summoners used to cross these plains, their hearts heavy with the weight of their pilgrimage. I was no different. But the Calm Lands we knew have changed. Uh, I knew that crazy necromancer was just going to cause trouble. Ooh, I love these games. I have a hundred argent credits. Well, I have a hundred open air credits. Open air what? Well? Attractions are scattered throughout the calm lands. Talk to the attendants to play. Uh, each attraction has two attendants. They represent two competing companies, Open Air and Argent. Talk to either attendant to enter an attraction. Okay. Trade in credits for prizes. Keep in mind Open Air and Argent each stock a different set of items. Be a good customer. Help the companies grow. Yeah, I, I don't actually want to be here, so I'm just gonna leave. Okay, or, or not. Or not. Now, may, maybe I need to be attacked by giant spear birds first. You know, that, that might be important. Ah, screw it. Everybody's a sword fighter right now. Why not? Alright, come on, everybody. Do your thing. Those were... Very easily killed. Okay. So, take the long route toward the travel agency. Hi, you're Guado! There's an entire race of, like, 
giant angry cat people who are probably going to hunt you down and kill you. Just thought you should know. Okay, where does this go? The Vell remains at the heart Jesus. of Spira, even today. It's also the place where I was born. I suppose that makes it my hometown, but I can't say that I have a lot of fond memories here. Hey, Yuna, remember that time when you thought it would be a good idea to get married here? You know, so you could try to kill a guy? How'd that plan work out for you? Alright, so I guess I don't go there. So that really only leaves, like, the long route. Which I guess makes sense, since the guide specifically tells me to take a long route. And it does say I may just want to not fight the stuff here. It also says along the way to talk to it, but I, it, like, the guide literally says along the way, speak to period, 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 it, parentheses, question mark. I have no idea what that means. Okay. Let's go black. The endless power of the world in my hands. And we're going to need a blizzard on the gold element. Uh, Riku. Ah, screw it. Just, just go for the festival. Oh, uh, we, we are nearly dead. You know, it did tell me I should just run away. Um, I think I may need to actively start paying attention to that advice. Yeah, Yuna, just, just run away, okay? Just, just run off. It's gonna be fine. Um, so I did get that new one. Okay. So, if you go through the blue and the red... Interesting. Uh, actually, another potion for Yuna. So, along the way, speak to it. Without any other indication of what that might mean. Okay, Pain, you're gonna go white Pain. Cool. And now run away. Easy enough. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Let's just run away. I, I don't really feel like fighting a giant floating fish thing.
So I'm still supposed to talk to it along the way, but I still don't know what it is. I, I don't know if I have gone past it, or if I haven't seen it yet, and I have no clues for context. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. That, that definitely seems like something that I would define as an it. Okay. Uh, the next step is... Uh, to enter the North Spring oh, area oh my. What did you say? and speak with Trommel. Okay. Hi? Don't move an inch. I'm on my way. What? You freak me out. You like I I don't like looking at you, if I'm being honest. These woods grow lonely day by day. Enter the North Spring area and speak with Tramel until he leaves. That is talk to him four times. What is with these requirements? You will obtain the special dress sphere for pain if you do this correctly. That's how you get that! Oh my god, the first time I played this game, I got through the entire game without finding, like, the special sphere for pain. Well, ob- silly me. Obviously, I had to go somewhere very specific in Chapter 1 and talk to a guy four times. <laughs> Silly me for not guessing that. It's so obvious. Just a little further. Just, just keep avoiding the enemies for now. I'm sure I could beat them, but it's not worth the effort. All right, the North Spring area. Yeah, you you look like a Trumel. We came here from Guado Salon. Well, maybe you guys should have considered not being horrible people. Woods are the only sanctuary that remains for those of us doomed to destruction. That's so unfortunate. I'm curious. Like, why would you think that you're doomed for destruction? Also, hello, Seymour's oh, friend. Hi, Samana Yuna. Forgive me for the grief I have caused you. I will not. How have you been? Well, with Lord Seymour gone, we Guado are hardly different from the dead. I, I wouldn't go that far. Alright, anyway, let's keep talking. Many Ronso lost their lives at the hands of Lord Seymour. Yes, also a lot of Albed. Swore vengeance for their fallen comrades. Also, that time you killed a lot of Albed. We in Guado Salam and strengthened our defenses. But soon we no longer had the strength for even this. Now we live among the shadows of these woods. Trommel? Oh, that sounds kind of rough. Hey, how about that time you slaughtered Hi, the Albed? Do not trouble yourself to show sympathy for the Guado. I'm not showing you an ounce of sympathy until you apologize for all Seymour, of your crimes. Never questioning. Even as he led all Spira into madness. You also slaughtered you the know, Albed. I cannot ask that you forgive us. Only that you forget us. Not Joe. until you apologize for slaughtering the Albed. Ah, oh, well, 
What brings the High Summoner to these woods? Well, I'm a Sphere Hunter now. Hmm. Well, a Sphere Hunter? Yes, I look for balls. Uh, hunt spheres. We collect you don't balls. don't say. Well then, uh, please allow me to give you this. It is of no use to us. Score! Thank you! Alright, we found Payne's special dress sphere, Full Throttle. After changing to all the dress spheres on a character's active garment grid, call up the garment grid with L and then press uh, R to activate the special dress sphere. You scored the Unerring Path Garment Grid. Cool. Uh, so... The Unerring Path is a very... A very simple... Uh, grid. That's actually pretty useful for for nice and quickly um, getting a person's special grid going. So we're going to change party member's brother. Brother is a playable character? I okay I had no memory of that whatsoever okay cool I noticed that uh, he uh, did not apologize for that time that the Guado attacked and slaughtered a good portion of the Albed, resulting in the Albed losing their entire settlement. Yeah. No, I'm not going to let that go. I'm hearing a lot of sympathy for the Ronso, but not much sympathy for the Albed. Is it because the Albed didn't come knocking on your door and slaughtering all of you for wronging them? <laughs> because it sure sounds like the Ronso did, and now you feel bad about it. It is not enough to show remorse only when you experience specific consequences. Okay. So now I'm up to 18%. Uh, so the next check here is make your way to the travel agency and try to speak with Alaka before he runs off. So I think the travel agency is actually back up this way. Which isn't so bad. I mean, there aren't any monster encounters along the Shimmering Path, so... I see a treasure. A Turbo Ether. Nice. The game completion counter counts up pretty quickly in this game, if I'm being honest. Okay. So, I assume that the travel agency is up this way. Okay, so try to talk to Oaka before he runs off. Okay. And Oaka was like the merchant guy, right? Okay, we got another Albed Primer. 
Okay, Zero here's a look. Okay. So we talked to Awaka before he ran off. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is have Pain swap to the White Maid. We're going to have Riku uh, do Fire Fish, I guess. Uh, yeah, let, let's at least take out that thing. Um, Kira on Pain. Can we actually take that thing out? Where there's smoke. Okay, Riku, I need you to work on that white element. Alright, heal on Riku. Okay, okay, white element down. One is down. Um... I really need this thing down. Okay, we, we need black mages. We need black mages, and we need to pray. I, I want to get this down to the one physical attacker. Uh, so you are red element, so we need blizzard to take you down. Hello, black mage Juma. Feel a little familiar? You definitely turned into the most powerful black mage in the world by the end of FF10. Nope, come on, come on, come on, keep the prayers going. Keep it going. Keep the prayers going. Little bits of healing. Just take out the element and we're going to be fine. Okay. We can now go for the special dress here. So this is actually going to be my first time ever seeing it. Whoa! Holy you hell, Pain! Use full throttle skills. Fire damage, ice damage, water damage, lightning damage. Alright, so what do these look like? Uh, Dextral Wing Skills. Oh, right, right, right! They're, they're three parts. Um, let's go with Darkness. Dectoral and Sinistral, specifically primary and offhand. Oh. Well, I was kind of hoping to enjoy that a bit more, but, uh... I guess not. Alright, so what's happening here? Okay. Uh, find Awaka north of where you found Donga. This is a mission. Okay, north of where you found Donga. Where the hell did I find Donga? Um... Okay, so this was uh, going east of the same sphere and then south of the four-way. That's how I find Dunga. 
Yeah, that's cool. We're just gonna run away. Because you all are a bit annoying to fight right now, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's quite a bit easier to, to oh, power to grind Earth. in this game, Where are you? to be honest. Alright, mission start, find a waka. Yeah, it, it is definitely easier to grind in this game, uh, because experience is a thing again, and if you can find, like, repeatable uh, actions that don't actually damage anyone, you can just spam those indefinitely for, for points. Like, I'm pretty sure I could just make everybody a white mage and just have all of them use prey over and over and over and then just master the job super easily. Uh, like, cause you know prey... Riku knows prey... I mean, it, it legitimately might just be worth, like, I don't know, taking a half hour and doing that in between episodes? Okay, Waka's down there. Wait, I'm sorry, there's enemies up on the path? Why are there enemies up on the path? I don't want enemies up on the path. That's annoying. And, of course, this is all assuming that my assumption about how the system the works, that, fight too. like, any action that you actually, any class action you carry out, uh, works toward progression, it, it's assuming that it actually works that way. I also don't know if it'll let you carry over extra. Like, I don't know if you would have to just end the fight every time you unlock something. I I don't know. You know what? In between episodes, I'm actually gonna give that a give that uh, give that a shot. I'm just gonna go to Beset or something, get a fight against like the weakest enemies, just have everyone be a white mage and just spam prey over and over and over and over and over. Okay. So this is where we found Awaka. So... Find Awaka north of where you found Donga. Okay. Not where I found, Morgan, found Donga, north of where I found Donga. Which would be north at the four-way intersection. Good. All right. You two catch him if he tries to run, okay? <laughs> it looks like you finally caught up with me. Yeah? Why are you walk running? Out at your service. Okay. Um. I bought the travel agency from Mr. Rin, but then the temple nearby sank to the bottom of the lake. Yeah. And business sank with it. Just my luck. Now the Albert have come to collect and are not in a mood for excuses. Think ye could give old Awaka a place to lay low? Hmm? For a while? I'll find a way to make it up to ye, I promise. What do you think? I mean, Sounds like he's in trouble. The guide says I take you with us. We're going to take Thank you onto the airship. Okay, and that is the entire mission for this area. Which unlocks the Ice Queen Garment Grid. Uh, since I am now dedicated to this plan... Um, I want to have everyone go for white mage's abilities 
that are going to be mastered quickly. And then that will easily let me know if I'm able to learn multiple abilities per battle. Because if I can... That's pretty damn cool. So let's just both give you the uh, give you the protection halo, I guess. Uh, no reason not to. Everybody gets to be a white mage. Pain can become a white mage, no problem. Alright, now back to the airship, and then I have to talk to a Waka in the airship. So far, things are going okay, I guess. Uh, since I accidentally triggered cutscenes at the entrances of Bavel and the Palmlands, I don't know if those contribute to completion or not. I might not be able to do, like, a proper completion check until I actually finish the entirety of Chapter 1. Alright. So, Kilika Island, I did it again. I I went somewhere brand new and it's going to trigger a cutscene. Can you guess where this is? It's Kilika Port. I have got to stop doing that. The Youth League helped rebuild it. Now it's a bustling town. At the time, everyone was grateful, but lately, well... There have been signs of trouble. It seems that tension is building between the Youth League and New Yevon. Yeah, yeah, I get it. The Stormcloaks and the Imperials. Don't worry about it, okay? It's easily resolved. You side with the Imperials, you kill Ulfric Stormcloak, and everything's fine. By the way, I will never come down off of this position that Ulfric Stormcloak was, in fact, a coward. If he was heading toward the boundaries of Skyrim, he was intending, best case scenario, to flee. Okay? Does that sound like the man I want as High King? N absolutely not. What am I even at right now? Okay, I'm at 19%. So, I'm just gonna do this, I guess. Coyote Overload. What? Uh, okay. Uh, everybody go warrior, then? Until that coyote is dead, I guess? Yeah, yeah, every, everybody gets to transform. Everybody gets to activate their cool powers. Nice looking there, Yuna. Okay. Alright, well, that's done. Everybody back to White Mage! So, I do in fact have short, short uh, dress change animations. But as near as I can tell, they still give you a long animation every time you do, like, a unique transformation. So, it's a little... Not really sure. But honestly, I really don't mind it. It's one of the quirks to the battle and system, I think. 
Uh, then we just make sure that everyone is set to pray. And I will just keep praying and praying and praying until I have an answer for sure that uh, you can't just max out a class in one fight. Or, alternatively, until I have completely maxed out the right pages for everybody, which would be hilarious. So I'm going to work on that, and I will see you all on the next video.